what's up y'all welcome back to the channel and today is our second hunt of our trip first hunt we were hunting with Elliot from freelance duck hunting which turned out to be a super awesome hunt if you have not seen that video be sure and go check it out but today is our second hunt we're out here gonna be setting up on some flooded public corn now that's pretty cool so we're hoping that this is gonna be a pretty juicy spot uh, we got a little bit of intel on it. We scouted it yesterday. It was really late. We didn't see much on it uh, Actually, we didn't see anything but Brother Jake has got a, a friend who's been in the area in the last few days and shared a little intel with us on it, so not completely blind. We do have some information, but Brother Jake has gone kind of to the back side looking at a hole and uh, we don't walk out here to the center we kind of want to be in the center side we're gonna have a, a south wind today so, but Jake just said hang out right here I want to go look at the back but if this don't look good we're gonna set up here so we kind of agreed on that and he just went back there to check it out <clears throat> so hopefully we're gonna kill some mallard ducks today Two gap wall and a widgeon. I thought they were all gaddies, but that's a widgeon right there. Sure enough. Triple. Awesome, man. It's awesome. Always nice to triple. <laughs> Don't Those do that. Right. Don't do that very much. One of the morning's hunt's going pretty good. Huh? We had one group come in, tripled on that. That was pretty awesome. I've had a bunch of teal come in lighting the decoy. I've been trying to pass on them, hoping for some mallards. But we may just have to be selective in what we got. Jake, get your gun ready. <laughs> but like I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by a mallard drake. They didn't want to work. <laughs> we got a couple other guys out here with us. Kind of. One on each side and one out in front of us. We've had some birds working. They seem to be responding pretty good to the call and they seem to like our spread. They've been working us a lot. We got this one guy here seems to be doing a little bit of sky busting. He's messed us up a couple of times, but it's public land. But hopefully we can get some more birds in here. We're seeing a few mallards, not as many as we'd like to see, but uh, it's looking pretty good so far. Tripled on the first volley, two gap wall and a widgeon, so sun's coming up behind us. It's a beautiful morning. Hopefully we can get some more birds flying here shortly. Some wind would help out. A nice good strong wind would be good, but we ain't supposed to have one today. It's like five to six out of the south. So we'll see. Well, 
I got my limit. I'm up here with hunting with Jake and chasing green. I'm gonna have to change my channel name to Chasing Gaddies because I've been hurting them today. <laughs> but I got a limit. I got five gap wall and a widgeon. Jake has got one Mallard Drake that I whiffed on and he cleaned him up. So I'm gonna pack my stuff up and take over the big camera and help Jake out with his footage. See if he can get his limit. He needs what five more birds, so maybe he can uh, finish out his limit. We can head on out of here and do some scouting for the next hunt. Well, if I'd shot that third one, that would have been a nice dribble. Yeah, it would. I didn't dump on down, though. <laughs> well, Jake just got him two more. He got him a couple of gab walls. So now he's three away from his limit. He's halfway there. Hopefully, we can get some more birds in here. He can get his last three birds. Maybe he can finish out with, a, with three more mallards. Finish out his limit. That'd be good. Jake is dealing with some finicky birds. They'll work, but they will not commit. It don't matter what you do. Jerk on the jerk rig, lay off the calling, call real loud, jerk real aggressively on the jerk cord. Nothing seems to work. There has been a few groups that really seem to like some aggressive calling. I did kind of notice that a few times. And there was that this last group he was working. He got to really snatching that jerk cord and got it splashing and they, they seem to like that too, but That's it, ain't it? Three triples in one day, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's freaking sweet. That's, Come on. That's awesome, man. <laughs> Did you get them? Yeah, I got them. Man, me and Alan were sitting here. I was just thinking. I was I was grabbing my gun to go. I ain't kidding. Like, I was grabbing my gun to unload it. And I hear wings. And we look up. I needed three more to go. It's 11, 11 o'clock on the dot. And that group just did it perfect. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> 
Uh, Alan had already tripled twice this morning, and I tripled right there. Three triples in one day. That, that's just a blessing, man. That's good stuff. That's some of the best shooting I've ever been a part of. <laughs> Well, that is a wrap. I got my limit early this morning. Jake just wrapped up his limit. Got three gab walls. Had a group come in. He tripled on it. This has been awesome. Great day. I tripled twice this morning. Jake doubled today and tripled. It's been a great day. Shooting gab walls. We'd much rather be shooting mallards, but the weather's warming up. It's cloudy. It's just not great conditions. So you take what you get. And, uh, we were blessed with some good gab walls today, a good hunt. We got some other guys out here with us. I know they've killed a few birds as well. So it's been a good day for everybody. So I'm, I'm extremely tickled. Even though they're gab walls, I'm still glad we got them. Jake, what you got to say? Man, I loved it. It was awesome, dude. I mean, you don't get any better than this. Pretty spot on public land and getting into them. That's what it's all about. That's right. So we're fishing to get things packed up here and get back into town, go by the hotel, maybe catch some lunch, maybe a quick power nap, and we got some scouting to do. We got a hole kind of halfway picked out for maybe in the morning, possibly, and we do have a plan B. So we're going to go put eyes on it and see what we can do. But anyway, that's all I got for you this, this week, guys. So until next time, y'all bust them up.